Hello Team FD, Team EFD as well, you dirty dogs. Welcome to the Football Daily set. Pretty unorthodox start to the week, of course. The coronavirus epidemic rages on, so the world of football has stopped, and rightfully so. But we wanted to do a quick announcement yeah. video, didn't we, Zach? To tell you how we're dealing with it, how we're going to tackle it moving forward. Because we want to keep bringing you guys content, but there will have to be inevitable tweaks to the schedule. Right, let's get stuck straight into it. We are going to do a slightly more uplifting mm -hmm. end to the video, uh, depicting how the world of football is dealing with the virus at large. But for now, let's inform people what we're doing, what practical steps we're taking to keep bringing the entertainment. <laughs> yes, well, if you've watched FD for the past three years, we've been creating content every single day for that time, which is quite an accomplishment from us, to be fair. Um, yeah. However, during this period of kind of crisis, you're not going to see uh, things like Sunday Vibes and other videos on FD throughout the next couple of weeks. You are still going to see content. We're going to bring, bring you the best content we possibly can, um, with that being five videos on FD and four on EFD. Mm. So we'll try and keep you guys entertained through the period uh, whilst we're recording from home. Yeah, currently there's plans to put top tens out on both channels, transfer talk on both channels. Mm. They're the ones that are slightly easier to produce. We need to talk. Joe is going to do that from home. So looking forward to <laughs> what results <laughs> that brings. Uh, one and ones, I'm going to try and tackle them from my spare bedroom and scout report as well. Probably not presenter led, might be in VO yeah. form, but you know, still informative, still keeping you guys clued up. You're still going to be the smartest footballing community after Out we there. get over this virus, epidemic, so on and so forth. Uh, we've also had some brand new ideas as well, which have had to postpone. We were really for excited now. about them, weren't we? Uh, we're still excited about them, in fact. And you know what? Just because you're tuning into this, just because you're a very committed community, here's a snippet of our latest quiz show that's still in development. This was never supposed to see the light of day. There's people on it that you've probably never seen before. And uh, yeah, it's going to change. The set's going to change. But here's a sneak peek of the month in football. Question 16, <laughs> at the time of recording, which player is the top scorer in Europe's top five leagues? Immobile. Yeah. Oh, Very straight pronunciation. <laughs> Very <laughs> straight <laughs> pronunciation. <laughs> right, Wally. <laughs> 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 Immobile. Yeah, that was so much of a sneak peek that the title might even change, the location might even change, but there you have it. I hope you get excited about it. We're going to uh, try and get one of those out for the end of March, maybe. Fingers crossed. April, Fingers crossed. George, behind the camera. March, April, we don't know yet. Hard to, hard to really guesstimate. Okay, let's move on to the second section of yes. this show, Zach, <laughs> this piece of content that three of us are producing out the four that made it in the office today. <laughs> uh, and we just want to look at how the world of football has dealt with a football-free weekend, a universally football-free weekend, apart from, what, the Russian League and lower divisions. Indeed. Um, let's say, you know, across the top five then, because, you know, some people have been posting videos trying to keep others in good spirits and so on and so forth. Indeed they have, yes. The trend hashtag, the stay at home challenge has been all over the internet with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, one of the first, working out at home. Billy Gilmore reveals the new NHS officially approved guidelines in how to wash your hands. At least 20 kick-ups, please. Ozil Kalazanac and Julian Draxler play Fortnite for charity on Twitch. Oxley Chamberlain kicks off his TikTok career. And James Milner showing how exciting his life is at home. It should be PM. Right, so it's unclear what the long-term ramifications will be for the football being cancelled for the time being mm. uh, in terms of title winners, promotions and relegations. We do know that last week the Serie A were mulling over three potential options which were voiding the league, finishing the season as of position right now or introducing a playoff style system. Uh, we should also get updates fairly soon. I think as of tomorrow yes. on Euro 2020 with 
Um, that potentially being pushed back to 2021. So we'll try and keep you updated on another strand in that regard. Uh, if you guys have heard any more, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, I think it's safe to say it's probably not going to be as close and shut as cancelling the league as Karen Brady, yeah. uh, owner of West Ham, suggested. That went down a treat on Twitter, didn't it? Um, so we don't really want to say too much more now, do we, why things are still in the balance. Yeah. So why don't we give people some general advice to alleviate their anxieties at home. And of course, we have got a link to the NHS website and it's important to only really use sources yeah. that are certified, that you can trust, that aren't gonna be panic inducing when it comes to things like Corona. Because let's just remain sensible, let's remain poised. Let's be like Christoph Dugary for this whole thing. Remember how graceful he was? You won't even remember Christoph Dugary, will you? Anyway, Lakes the NHS Birmingham. have said, make sure you wash your hands with soap and water oh, yeah. often and do it at least for 20 seconds. Always wash your hands as well when you get home from work or into work as well. Um, use hand sanitizer gel if soap and water are not available. Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue or your sleeve, not your hand, because obviously you're going to touch other things um, when you cough or sneeze. Put used tissues in the bin immediately and wash your hands afterwards. As they say, catch it, bin it, kill it. Try to avoid Smash close that. contact with people who are unwell. Mm. Do not touch your eyes, nose or mouth if your hands are not clean. And stay at home if you have the coronavirus symptoms. Yeah. But Hamel, what are those symptoms? You know what, I sort of shared, should have said even, easy for you to say, uh, Berbatov, not Christoph Yes, Dugan. that one. If you're ever panicking, understand. just think of Berbatov. Think of one of Berbatov's touches. Think of him against Blackburn scoring That's five spin. goals. That is how I'm going to deal with this whole epidemic. Okay, the symptoms are a high temperature, and that is pretty crucial. Yeah. Uh, you feel hot to touch on your chest or back or head, uh, and a new and continuous cough. This means you've started coughing uh, in a repeated fashion. Uh, don't go to the GP if you have these symptoms. These are the official guidelines from the UK government. Uh, you cannot get a test if you're self-isolating. Uh, self-isolating as of time of recording, is supposed to last a week, right? Yes. Um, so, like we're gonna do from here on in, probably think it's best to spend a week at home. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, essentially put your health in your own hands. Don't feel pressured by anyone else or any other institution, person, work, so on, so Indeed. forth. Um, I've got some rules for self-isolating here, but I'm not gonna tell you guys how to suck eggs. If you wanna know more about that, again, there'll be a link in the description below. I think we probably wrap it. Yeah, I think as as Angelotti once said as well, you know, football is the most important thing of the lesser important things. Thought he wasn't going to get there and he did. <laughs> that might not be word for word. Word for word, but roughly yeah. roughly about that or the least important raise things. raise your eyebrow when you said but, it. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, and hopefully you guys will enjoy the content where you guys can, we can help keep you guys entertained mm. whilst you are at home. Um, if you want to keep up to date with that content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and Eurofootball Daily so you don't miss it. And we'll see you in the next couple of days. Bye. Stay safe.